Hey everyone, Angie here. Today, I'm going to play you an episode of the Kids Listen Activity Podcast brought to you by Kids Listen. I was fortunate enough to be a featured guest on the show along with Birdie and Digger the Dog. You will hear all about our fun time at the county fair, followed by some super entertaining math activities. These activities are perfect for distance learning for all ages. And if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to the Kids Listen Activity Podcast on your podcast app. Hello, and welcome to the Kids Listen Activity Podcast, where listening leads to learning. A weekly show from your friends at Kids Listen, a group of awesome podcasts for kids. Each week, we bring you a different podcast and an activity based on the episode to listen, learn, and have some fun. I'm Angela Ferrari, which you can call me Angie, and I'm the host of Story Spectacular, a family-friendly variety show for all ages. Today, we are going to take a spectacular trip to the county fair along with Birdie and Digger the Dog. We sure are, Angie. I can't wait to play some games, ride some rides, and eat some fair treats. <laughs> Me too. After our trip, we will have three fun county fair counting games. They are going to be very fun. <laughs> Let's begin the show now. The County Fair. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Digger. Are you ready to go to the fair? Yeah, I can't wait to see what sorts of things are at the County Fair. That's great. Let's hop into the spectacular travel machine. Okay. We are now at the County Fair. There are so many amazing smells. There sure are, Digger. What should we check out first? I don't know about you, but I want to play a game and win a big prize. <laughs> okay, Digger. I see the rubber ducky game over there. Step right up, folks. All you need to do is match two rubber duckies. <laughs> lift one rubber ducky up and look to see what color is painted on the bottom. Then pick up another rubber ducky with the same color and win a prize! Doggone, that sounds like fun. I'm gonna win a great big prize. Haha, <laughs> good luck, Digger. I'm gonna first lift up this duck. Oh, it has a red dot painted on the bottom. Now I need to find another duck with a red dot. How about this one? <laughs> Oh dear, this duck has a blue dot. Oops, sorry about that, Digger. That's not a match. Oh, okay. I guess I want to try again. <laughs> All right, Digger. Birdie and I are going to take a ride on the Ferris wheel. We'll meet you back by the great big pumpkin when we are all finished. Sounds good. The next time I see you, I'm going to have a big prize. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. See you soon, Digger. Come on, Birdie, let's go for a ride. Step right up and climb aboard the Ferris wheel. Ooh, this looks really fun. Here we go, Birdie. It's moving. We are climbing higher and higher. Have you ever been this high before, Birdie? We can see the whole fair from up here. Amazing. Hey, look, I can see Digger. He's still playing the rubber ducky game. Now we are riding back down. Whee! We're back on the ground again, Birdie. What a fun ride. Now let's find Digger. Where did we say we'd meet him again? Oh yeah, by the big pumpkin. Look, I see him over there. And wow, that is the biggest pumpkin I have ever seen. Hi, Digger. Hey, guys. Did you win a prize, Digger? Nah, I kept trying, but I didn't win. That's okay. We can try and win a prize later. But for now, let's get ourselves a snack. 
Okay, I think I can smell a candy apple stand over there. Yum, I love candy apples. Hello there, what can I get you? Three candy apples, please. Coming right up, folks. Here you are. Thank, Thank you. you. Look, Digger, Birdie is pecking at the candy apple like a woodpecker. Good job, Birdie. Hey, I think I hear a crowd cheering over there. Let's see what's going on. Look, it's a frying pan toss. The contestants all line up in a row, and whoever throws the frying pan the furthest will win a prize. Gosh, I'd like to win a prize. Here, Digger, I'll hold on to your candy apple. Why don't you give it a try and throw the frying pan? Okay. Ready, contestants? Ready. One, two, three, throw! Look, Birdie, Digger is throwing his frying pan. Aw, oh, gee, his pan went pretty far, but it didn't go the farthest. Oh, well. Aw, I lost again, you guys. Sorry you didn't win the contest, Digger, but there are lots of other neat things to do at the fair. Well, what should we do next? Hmm, why don't we walk over to the barn stalls and pet the farm animals? Let's do it! Ah, what a lovely little lamb! Birdie is making friends with a rooster. Hmm, it sounds like that cow is in a bad mood. Maybe I should give her a lick of my candy apple. Oh no, that cow ate my whole candy apple. You're welcome, I guess, but I'm still feeling pretty hungry. Hmm, I think I have an idea. Look, Digger, there's a pie-eating contest over there. Haha, <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat a dozen pies right now. Come on down, Digger the dog, and join the other contestants for the pie-eating competition. Smells good. Contestants, are you ready? Ready. One, two, three, eat. <laughs> Look at Digger go. He's already <laughs> eaten one. No. Two. <laughs> Now three pies. Delicious. Some of the other contestants are slowing down, but Digger is still munching away. He just ate an entire blueberry pie. And a chocolate cream pie. Oh boy, I love chocolate. And a lemon meringue. Tasty. It's down to two contestants now. We have Digger the dog and Maggie the magpie still munching away. Ah, goodness gracious, I can't eat another bite! Digger is still eating. Look, he just finished his last pie. Yummy apples. Hey, are you going to finish your pie, Maggie? Ah, have at it, Digger. Golly, thanks, Maggie. This is some good pie, everyone. Yum, yum, yum. Congratulations, my doggy friend! You've won a great big prize! Oh boy, those pies were such a treat! I feel like I already won a prize by getting to eat them all! Haha, <laughs> well you have one more prize coming your way! Wheel it on out, fellas! Congratulations, Digger! You have won yourself this great big pumpkin! Wow, I won the big pumpkin? That's amazing! And I know just what I will do with it. What are you going to do with such a great big pumpkin, Digger? Well, first, I'm going to hollow out the pumpkin and turn it into a cool fort. Then, I'm going to give the pumpkin seeds to my friend, Birdie, and give the rest of the pumpkin pulp to you, Angie, so you can make a pumpkin pie. That sounds great. I can make a dozen pies out of all this pumpkin. And I can help you eat them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Digger and Birdie, why don't we celebrate by taking a ride on the merry-go-round? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. All aboard the merry-go-round. Wee! Digger is riding on a big black stallion. Giddy up, horsey! Birdie is sitting on a lovely swan. I'm sitting way up here on this camel. Hold on tight, I heard camels can be a bumpy ride. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, there are so many wonderful things to do at the county fair. There sure are. I think I hear some music coming from the main stage. You're right, Digger. Check it out. It's the county jug band playing a song about the fair. The county fair, the county fair. Oh, good golly, I'll see you there. The county fair, the county fair. But now it's time for us to head back. Let's pack up the great big pumpkin into this spectacular travel machine and go home. Goodbye, County Fair. And goodbye, County Fair. <laughs> Yay, we made it back home. Woo-hoo. And speaking of Digger the Dog, he's going to tell us some fun jokes about the fair. His name is Digger and he likes to tell jokes. My name is Digger and I like to tell jokes. Are you ready to tell some fair jokes, Digger? Sure. How did the farmer fix her overalls? Hmm. How did the farmer fix her overalls? With a cabbage patch. Hi, this looks good overall. Why did the bride and groom go to the fair? Huh? why did the bride and groom go to the fair? So they could ride the merry-go-round. Do you take this horse to be your ride around the merry-go-round? I do. <laughs> when can you turn milk into butter? Hmm, this is a tricky one. When can you turn milk into butter? When it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Do you think that brown cows make chocolate milk? Gosh, I don't know, but chocolate butter sounds delicious. <laughs> hey, Digger, I have a joke for you. What did Digger the dog say at the end of the fair? Huh, I don't remember. Good pie, everyone. Good pie is right. And speaking of good pie, I'm going to head off and start hollowing out the pumpkin so we can make more. Sounds great, Digger. Come back again soon to tell us even more silly jokes. Will do. Good pie for now. His name is Digger and he likes to tell jokes. My name is Digger and I like to tell jokes. Now it's time for our three county fair counting activities. Activity one. Our first activity is called the paper toss contest. Here's how it works. You can follow the directions in the printable activity page provided in the show notes to make your own triangle paper tosser. Then find a smooth flat surface. Make a starting line with a piece of tape. Then flick your paper tosser. Use a ruler to measure the distance. How far did it slide? Can you beat your score? Challenge your friends and family. You can even make a prize to award to the winner. Our second activity is called the Rubber Ducky Match Game. 
Use the provided printable activity page or make your own playing tokens. You can use blank cards or matching lids or even coins with paper tape to the bottom. You will need 20 tokens altogether. They need to be exactly the same shape, size, and color. Once you collect your tokens, it's time to label them. Label two tokens number one, two tokens with the number two, all the way up to number 10. You will have 10 matching number pairs. Hooray, now let's play! <laughs> okay, lay all of your tokens face down, mix them up, and organize them into neat rows. Then, for your turn, flip two tokens over. Do you have a match? If you do, pull those tokens out to the side. They are now your points. And you even get to go again. If you don't get a match, flip them back down. Your turn is over, but use your memory skills to make matches next turn. When all of the matches are collected, the player with the most tokens wins. Hey, older kids, you can play the game with even more math skills. Every time you don't get a match, add the total of the mismatched numbers together. Keep a running tally. The game ends when all of the matches are collected, and this time the player with the lowest total number score wins. You can use multiplication tables too. You can also play the game by adding or multiplying your matches together and the player with the highest score wins. Or even make up your own rules. Because math rules. Activity three. Our third activity is called the pie eating chart. Yum, yum. Use the provided printable activity page or make your own blank pie chart by drawing a circle and dividing it into 10 equal slices. These slices represent the 10 pies Digger the dog ate during the pie eating contest. Yum, yum. Let's say Digger ate four blueberry pies. So color four of the pie slices blue. Digger also ate three pumpkin pies. So color three of the pie slices orange. Then Digger ate two strawberry pies. So color two of the pie slices red. Finally, Digger ate one chocolate cream pie. Color the last slice of the pie brown. Now you have a chart that shows which pie Digger ate the most of and which pie digger ate the least. Older kids can calculate the percentages. That's a tasty looking chart. Can you eat pie charts, Angie? <laughs> no, but you can make your own pie chart of your favorite four foods. Use the printable activity page or start with a blank pie chart divided into 10 equal slices. To the side of the chart, write down or draw pictures of your four favorite foods and assign those foods each a different color. You will be coloring one slice of the pie for every food color. Your first favorite food gets four pie slices. Your second favorite food gets three pie slices. Your third favorite food gets two pie slices and your fourth favorite food gets one pie slice. Yum, yummy! Older kids can calculate percentages. You can make pie charts for your favorite toys, activities, or even animals like dogs and birds. I hope you have so much fun playing along with these spectacular county fair counting games. Check out the show notes of this episode for directions and links to today's activities. And remember, for more activities, go to storiespectacular.com and click on free resources to access fun printable activity pages and storytelling worksheets for older kids. There is something spectacular for everyone. Story Spectacular. Story Spectacular is written and hosted by me, Angela Ferrari. I'm so thrilled to be a part of the Kids Listen Activity Podcast. Share your activities with us with the help from your adult. 
Use the hashtag KidsListenActivityPod to post a photo on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. This podcast is brought to you by Kids Listen, an organization that advocates for a high quality children's podcast. Kids Listen is a group of podcast creators who work independently, but have come together to support each other and our audiences. You can find Story Spectacular and close to a hundred more great shows on the Kids Listen app, a podcast app just for kids podcasts. Download it on the Apple Store or Google Play or just go to app.kidslisten.org. If you are interested in finding out more about Kids Listen or how to join with your own podcast, go to kidslisten.org. Tune in next week for another fun episode and activity. And thanks for joining us on the Kids Listen Activity Podcast, where listening leads to learning. See you at the next fair.